guys so today i am collaborating with my girl petal is bliss we are making a diy dollar tree mirror tray so um i will leave her um information as well as her link to her channel down in the description box you guys don't forget to check her out um and let's get started so First, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm using. Um, and everything is from the Dollar Tree with the exception of the glue sticks and the glue gun. It's something that I already had. <clears throat> and I just use it over and over and over. So, starting with the mirror. Um, this is the Dollar Mirror Picture Frame. I kind of just took it out of this little frame right here. Um, these are the... Ooh, the little tea light holders um some little glass gems um and we're gonna get started so first i'm gonna turn this over and i'm going to glue this little cardboard down I forgot to mention the um, rhinestone ribbon. Um, this is also from the Dollar Tree. I bought this a while back um, when I did the um, makeup brush holder. So I'm going to use this um, just to add a little bit of bling um, and also to help keep the glass gems um, in place. So I'm just gonna measure and I'm gonna cut
glue stick you want to work pretty quickly because I noticed that the uh, glue was drying quicker it was drying really really fast and because I have like my air on um, or even the fan um, it was drying really quickly and sometimes I would have to go back and apply a little more in order for the rhinestone ribbon to dry and I just kind of used because it was kind of hot with me pressing so I kind of just used like the um, metal part of my scissors just to kind of like press it down so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the gems um, and I want a little bit of this bling to show um, on like the outside of the glass tray so I'm gonna place the glass gem um, on the second in between the second and third um, row of the um, the ribbon so I'm just gonna take a little bit and just put it on the glass gem I don't want to put it on the ribbon because I don't want to put too much so I'm just gonna put it on the gem and I'm just gonna place it where I want it to go and again with the glue you have to kind of work pretty quickly so I'm gonna hold it there and just let it dry guys I got the um, rhinestones around um, as I said um, previously um, now I was gonna glue the glass gems here but for some reason they wouldn't stand up so I had to take them and glue them, glue them on the side um, and these DIY projects they're like trial and error sometimes if one thing won't work you gotta kind of reassess um, the situation and see what will work for you and I just burnt my finger but um, so I'm just taking them and gluing them on the side. Um, and that um, rhinestone ribbon is still gonna show um, to give my tray some bling. So I'm gonna keep gluing these on all the way around. So guys, I finally finished putting all the gems around the edges and it's not quite dry. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of take my finger and just kind of rub the um, excess glue that made like the stringy part and just kind of pull that off um, from the mirror. It will be some on the bottom as well. Now that I'm finished, I'm just gonna kind of take in um, like a paper towel or a piece of tissue and just kind of 
clean up the mirror. You might have to put a few drops of water. So this is the finished product. I did get the um, flower from the dollar store. Um, I had one in my last video or in my previous video. And again, I got the flameless candles from the Dollar Tree. And that is the finished product. I'm gonna turn the light off so you guys can see what it looks like. Really nice and cozy. Kind of like a great night light. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to check the description box for Miss Petals' is Bliss so we can see where her um, DIY Dollar Tree mirror tray looks like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thumbs this video up and leave me a comment down below if you want to see more um, of my Dollar Tree DIYs. And remember guys, this is just trial and error. There's no right or wrong. So thank you guys for watching and I see you guys in my next video.